Hello everyone, welcome back for lecture 12, part one, where in this lecture, we're gonna talk about constructing a PXY diagram for an ideal binary solution. Now, as you may remember from lecture 11, I showed you a representative PXY diagram where you have at low pressures, you're gonna have a vapor, and then at high pressures, you'll have a liquid. And there's that intermediate region where you're gonna have a mixture between a liquid and a vapor. Now, in this, lecture we're going to talk about how do you develop that bubble point line and that dew point curve and we're going to be manipulating Dalton's law and Raoult's law in order to create these lines so we're going to first start off with our bubble point line and that's where we're going to have our pressure versus our molar composition in the liquid phase and as a reminder with our Raoult and Dalton law combination of equations we know that the partial pressure of component A is going to equal the molar composition of A in the vapor phase times the total pressure. That's going to equal the molar composition of A in the liquid phase times the vapor pressure of A in the, actually just the vapor pressure of A. And if we rearrange all of this and, and we're trying to isolate just the liquid component information, if we, if we arrange everything and define y in terms of x, pa star, and p total, what we would have is that ya equals xa pa star divided by p total. And we do this to help us try and eliminate that y term. And what we can do is we can say that since the sum of all y's have to equal one, we can then say that the sum of all xi pi star over p total should also equal one because we just said before they are equivalent. And after doing that, we can rearrange that, that equation, sum of xi pi star divided by p total equals one. We can rearrange that just a little bit so that we have p total equals the sum of xi pi star. And then what we can do for an ideal binary system is that we can say that p total is gonna equal xa pa star plus xb pb star, right? As we spoke about in lecture 11, and we can now rearrange this again and define xb in terms of xa and so we would get p total equals xa pa star plus one minus xa times pb star and when you're creating your bubble point line the nice feature about this is that you you will arbitrarily set your mol your molar compositions of the liquid phase so you can go start at zero go up to one do increments of let's say 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 and you as long as you have a temperature you will then be able to create your bubble point line because you will then be able to get your PA star and PB star and then your total pressure is just the sum of XA PA star plus XB PB star. And that's all you need to do in order to make your bubble point line. Now, uh, what we now will do is talk about the dew point line, which is a little bit more complicated, but not much. So for our dew point line, again, we're going to use that uh, initial equation using Dalton's law and Raoult's law. We got PA equals YA P total equals XA PA star. And this time around, rather than trying to eliminate all the Y's, we're going to try and eliminate the X's because we're focusing now on the vapor phase, right? Because our dew point line is focusing on the temperature, the, in this case, it's going to focus on the pressure at which we are going to first start forming a droplet of liquid. So in this, in this system, what we're doing, we're focusing on isolating and eliminating the X's. So what we can do first is define XA in terms of everything else. We can say that XA equals YA P total divided by PA star. And from there, just like we did on for the bubble point line, we're gonna say that since the sum of XI has to equal one, we can then say that the sum of YA P total divided by PA star must also equal one. And from there, we're gonna rearrange this equation as well. And for this one, we're gonna get something that looks a little different than what we saw before, because this time around, we will have the sum of yi over pi star equals one over p total. And now for an ideal binary system, for we're going to now change that equation so that it's ya p over pa star plus yb over pb star equals one over p total. And now what ends up happening is that you'll have to, instead of 
solving for your p total every time, you will then have to back out what the, the appropriate y a term will be. And as, as we did before with our, our bubble point line, we can now solve for y b in terms of, or define y b in terms of y a. And so we would have y a over p a star plus one minus y a over p b star equals one over p total. And so again, in this system, we would have our p total because we'd calculate it from our x a, x b calcul or from our bubble point line calculations. And from there, all we would do is rearrange this equation to solve for y a at each of these comp um, compositions in the liquid phase. Okay, and by using so by using this equation and the one for the bubble point line, you are then going to be able to construct a PXY diagram for an ideal binary solution. And so that's going to actually wrap up this lecture, uh, this, sorry, this part of lecture 12. Uh, stay tuned for part two, where we'll talk about how do you take advantage uh, or still take advantage of the Dalton's law and Rolot's law for calculating bubble point and dew point temperatures. So I'll see you soon.